Hello everyone, my name is Talita Achu and I'm from Liberty University. I'll be doing a service learning experience um, for the class Health 635, which is called Health Agency Management. So for my service project, I worked with the Rappanic Health District. Um, I was able to work at the COVID-19 COVID clinic, which was located at Germana College in Culpeper, Virginia. So when I got there, the first thing that I did was I did some few administrative work. So one of the things that I was given was I was given the vaccination cards. And what I had to do was stick, put stickers on those cards. So the stickers that I was putting on the cards had the vaccine lot number and also the type of vaccine the person was getting. So I was able to put stickers on all the vaccines that people got for that day. And I did that for about two hours, three hours. So in total, I did about a thousand of those vaccination cards, which were then later given out to the nurses. And when somebody does a vaccine, gets a COVID vaccine, they give the person the card. So the card has the person's next appointment, the kind of vaccine that the person got, and also the, um, the vaccine name and the lot number. So when I was done with that, it was almost lunch time. So I was able to speak with the nurses and asking her what else she needed me to do. And she said, at the moment, the Rappahannock Health District has a need. So there is certain areas within the health, the Rappahannock Health District that are considered undeserved. So meaning they were trying to find ways to be able to vaccinate uh, more people within the area. So she told me to come up with some ideas, which I think would be good that the health department could use to be able to reach out to um, these areas that are considered underserved. So um, within the Rappahannock Health District, they have a very high population of elderly people. So a lot of the, the challenges that people face are, you know, access to internet. Most of the people don't know how to use the internet. Um, most of the people are stuck in their ways and they are just not comfortable, you know, getting uh, getting a new vaccine, especially the one, the COVID vaccine that took very little time for it to be produced. So with one of the plans that I put up, that I sketched out, I was able to, first of all, we have to identify what areas are considered underserved within the Rappahannock Rapid Health District. And then we also had to find out where they get their source of information. Is it through the local newspaper? radio station or word of mouth and then also create um like campaigns where we can educate people more about the vaccine help them answer questions answer questions about myth versus truth about the vaccine and also let them know that the vaccine is free tell them the benefits of the vaccine and overall help with the whole experience so and then the second part of my service learning experience was really the most fun part where I was able to work with um, a former MPH student. So he works as a COVID vaccine um, scheduler. So I was able to work with him to schedule people for the COVID-19 vaccine. So he gave me a list from his spreadsheet and what we had to do was call these people. So first of all, introduce yourself, say the reason why you're calling, and also ask them if, so for example, I would say, hey, um, hi, this is, for example, Ms. Smith. Um, this is the leader calling from the Rappahannock Health District. I was calling in regards to the COVID-19 vaccine that you, um, that you registered to get. So the reason for the call today was just to schedule a vaccine. So these are the days that we have available, what time will work best for you. So it was really fun, that part, because a lot of people had been waiting for the vaccine for those who actually registered. So just hearing them say, oh my goodness, I can't believe it's my time to get the vaccine. So, and you know, just the joy in the uh, voices was really one of the highlights of my um, learning service experience. So to answer the question, what makes a good collaborative service team for public health? I think the first and most important step is having a common goal. So like the vaccine clinic that I worked in, there were, there were many healthcare professionals from nurses to doctors to um, uh, masters of public health, um, uh, masters of public health students. So one of 
the main things for a good collaborative service experience in the work for public health is having a common goal. So for like the vaccination clinic, the goal was to make sure everybody who came in that day had their vaccines in a safe and clean environment. And they were able to do that. So I think having a common goal is one of the um, first and foremost important things for a good collaborative service team to work, especially in public health. The second step that I'll think about is commitment. So having people who are committed to the same course, like for example, at the clinic, most people, or all the people that were there, all the health professionals that I've met, wanted to make sure that everybody got their vaccinations done in a timely manner, were out there, um, out in time, and also it was done in a safe and clean, and clean way. So I think that's another step. So having just people who are very committed to the course. So overall, I had a very good experience with the Rappahannock Health District. They were very welcoming. They answered all the questions that I had. And I just wish I had more time to work with them because again, eight hours is not enough time for you to really know exactly what is going on there. But I was glad that I had that opportunity. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you were able to learn something. Um, the goal for, especially in a global pandemic is to help as much as we can and i was so grateful to be part of that um to be part of that whole experience so hopefully you learned something from my video um thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day bye bye